So I thought it would just be fun to bring you guys along with me and talk to you guys. It is 38 degrees outside right now. We did not get snow or um, ice falling from the sky like we were supposed to. What is that? Sleep. We did not get snow or sleep uh, today. I t when I woke up, all of the tree, like the branches and the leaves, were completely white. So it did freeze. It did get really low. Um, and all the puddles were frozen and stuff like that. But no ice fr falling from the sky. Um, it's supposed to get down to 23 degrees today. I know Fahrenheit, I will put what that is in Celsius on the screen. Um, I know that other places in the north, they're like, oh my goodness, 23 degrees or whatever. It's like, I want it to be 23 degrees. And I understand because I'm from New York originally and it used to snow, like we would still have to go to school when snow was up to my, you know, waist and you still had to go to school. But in the South when, you know, I've acclimated, I'm used to the warm weather, um, even when I went to uh, Kentucky, you know, one time it was 30, well, 30 degrees here, I would be freezing, but it was 30 degrees in Kentucky, but after being so cold for so long, I was outside in 30 degree, 30 degree weather with, I think, just a long sleeve shirt on, and I was like, when the sun was out, and I was like, oh man, this feels awesome and then I was like it must be 50 and then we looked at the temperature and it was like 30 and I was like oh my goodness I can't believe I'm thinking 30 degrees is warm but if I was in South Carolina I would not so it just all depends on where you're at and what you're used to and I'm not used to uh really cold temperatures anyway so the first one I'm going to be planting is this misty lavender larkspur and so I am going to just write the name on this half of the tray and today's date which is maybe the 22nd I don't know I have to see what that is so I have misty and then the other one I'll do is shades of blue I did get these a uh, tray from Bootstrap Farmer last year, um, but these uh, these uh, 1020 uh, tray right here that I used to bottom water, I actually bought like maybe hmm, I don't know if I got like 20 or 50 of these from. It has to be more than 20. Maybe I got 50 of these from the Greenhouse Mega Store. I don't really remember how much I got, but these are like they're not really really strong like the um i do have some of these from bootstrap farm as well like i have that white one and i do have some black ones but um since i was going to be selling um started plants and stuff like that i just needed um some cheap ones that i could just you know bring and don't mind if they you know get broken or anything like that i actually won a contest last year from bootstrap farmer and i actually ended up getting a lot of those two inch colorful trays from them which i love they are so they're so durable and reusable i actually won a heat mat from them i don't know if it was this heat mat i feel like the heat mat i won from them was bigger i hope you guys don't mind me talking so i'm just going to Take out this napkin. As you can see, I have all the seeds on this napkin right here. And I'm using this half of the tray. So I'm just going to move these over. And to start, I am going to just put one seed her cell just so um, to make sure that I have at least one seed in each tray and in each cell and then I'll come back and add in another one if I have more than 36 which I think I will and I don't press them into the soil I don't press them into the soil just yet because I have bad memory and I will forget if I put seeds in a tray. I'm baking bread and I actually 
sandwich bread and I actually just smell it right now. I didn't hear it beep, but since I'm smelling it, seems like it's almost about to beep. So I'm gonna have to pause and come back to this so that I could take that out the oven. So I'm going to lightly push them into the soil. They want to be, um, darkness aids in germination and so they want to be planted on the packet said at least one fourth of an inch below the soil. So I'm just lightly pushing them in and covering them. I did take my bread out of, well actually my daughters took the bread out when I went in there but it did have to go back in for five minutes uncovered, so. Okay, so I got that whole 36 side planted with the misty, yeah, misty lavender. I'm gonna put that right there just so I know. And then I'm going to do the shades of blue and I'm gonna repeat the same thing. But, that bread's, if you've never made homemade bread, you sure need to sandwich bread. I got that recipe from Tangi over at um, Freedom Homestead and it is delicious. It, it tastes way better than store-bought bread. Again, I'm just repeating the process, taking this out and I'm going to sew this on this side. I have never, um, this is going to be my first year with a cut flower garden. But I'm really excited. I'm just giving myself grace to like learn how to plant all these things and grow them well. And then hopefully get some beautiful bouquets out of them. Um, but I know it is trial and error. I do have maybe four books that I've read about cut flower. Maybe like three from, actually maybe I have five. Because I think I have three from Floret and then two from other people. Really good books. Maybe I have six because I have the cool weather flowers. And then I have two other ones that are really good cut flower books. So, I mean, I've definitely done a lot of research on it, but I've never actually put it into practice. So I'm really excited about growing cut flowers this year. I hope to have lots of flower uh, bouquets to bless people with um, and to have on my table as well. For this side, I'm just going to start, go ahead and start with three on each Cell because that's what I ended up with on the other side was about three to four on each cell and I am trying to space them a little bit inside the cell just give them a little bit of space so when it comes time to separating them it's a little easier and they're not like on top of each other This is very, ooh, this is such a tedious pro process. Okay, I got this whole tray um, sewed with the misty lavender and then the shades of blue. And I'm just going to spray this. I did get this sprayer from Amazon. If you're interested, I will link it below. It came with two of them. And I really like it for lightly misting uh, seeds. I used to use those spray bottles from like the dollar store or like in your cleaning section. And I still actually have those. But you have to keep spraying, keep spraying, keep spraying. And my hand used to get a cramp. So I am happy to have this spray bottle. But after I spray all of these, this will be the last time that I top water. I will add water in the bottom of these tray and keep the soil moist. I'm going to sit them over here or sit this tray over to the side and then continue working on my other trays. So 
So this one I only filled halfway, but the same thing. So this one's going to be Larkspur and Bells of Ireland. And I labeled it on the side for the front with masking tape. I have my potting soil that I'm going to dampen and continue filling. I did make my own potting soil last year and once I run out of this uh once I run out of this pro mix I will um be making a video of how I made my own um seed starting mix slash potting soil but when I bought this pro mix I was looking for because my seed starting mix uses peat moss and when I bought this in December, it was still, you know, not growing season. And so they didn't have any peat moss in the stores. And so I had just got this from like Walmart just so that I could start seeds because I needed to start my Lysianthus. And I didn't have any homemade seed starting mix. But now since it is seed starting time, they do have uh, peat moss and her light and all that stuff out so once I finish using this bag all up I will be making my own and I will show you guys how I do that but I'm just I take out any big pieces and I just fill this tray up and use hot boiling water but that water has been sitting a while so it's not going to be boiling which is fine the sun actually came out and so I'm curious as to the temperature underneath my hoop houses because it can go like 40 degrees above the temperature outside, which wouldn't be bad because um, it's only, I think, 40 degrees outside. So it would only be about 70. So I can definitely go outside and just make sure. I do want to start, um, slowly getting these what do I have bachelor buttons and my what are those called snapdragons outside and so since the sun is out I'm thinking about sitting them out for like an hour in the shade I think that's what I'll do once I get this tray filled up so I did go ahead and take some plants as you see and sit them outside just I'm gonna leave them outside for maybe like 30 minutes to an hour inside of a shady spot just so that they can start working their way uh, to get acclimated outside but my next two plants I'm going to be planting is the Bells of Ireland and then some more Larkspur I'm gonna do it the same way the Bells of Ireland is gonna be so much easier because they're so much bigger so that's what I'm gonna start with Have you guys um, ever grown a cut flower garden? Let me know down in the just let me know down in the comments. Okay, so I have the Bells of Ireland, and I actually am going to maybe put, I'm going to try just put one per cell, and it says do not cover because light aids germination. So I'm just going to put them down onto the soil and press them in after I finish.
actually this whole tray is Bells of Ireland because once I started sewing them, I realized that I had way more seeds than, um, you know, I would have to probably put like five or six in each cell and I didn't want to uh, because they, uh, when everything I've read said that uh, Bells of Ireland has a deep top root, um, which means it grows fast and stuff like that. And so I did not want to overcrowd it. And so basically what I did is put two to three on top of each soil and then pressed it down. And so that took up this whole 72 count tray. Of course, I don't know if each seed will germinate, but it gave me a better chance of spreading them out so that I can um, have better rates of when I'm separating them and putting them out in the ground or in the garden. So this is 72 so times three, I have no idea what that is, but that's how many uh, Bells of Ireland that are here, and I sprayed it already. Oh my goodness, I'm falling. I'm gonna sit that over there, and basically, I'm just gonna keep doing the same thing for the rest of these. I still have this Larkspur, this uh, Eucalyptus, Lavender, and Echinacea, but these seeds are these echinacea seeds are way bigger so I could probably put this echinacea I have white and purple and this uh, lemon eucalyptus all in the same tray and then probably do larkspur with maybe the lavender in another tray since I have two more trays left but I know this video is probably super long uh, I don't know how long I've been talking, but if you're still here, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it so much. If you would give this video a like and um, just comment below and tell me what are you excited for growing this spring or are you growing or are you still just learning? I do want to encourage you though that um, it's no be better time to start growing than now. You, um, you can read all the books that you want and and require all the information that you want and think that you're ready but when you start you're still going to make lots of mistakes there's nothing you can do to stop you from failing or making mistakes and the only way you're going to get better is just by start growing and that's basically how i learned is you know i did read and do all the things but ultimately you know you're still making mistakes and you get to learn from those so i would encourage you that if you are still you know hesitant to start a garden whether that be a vegetable garden or a cut flower garden or any type of garden that you should definitely start and uh get to growing and that way you get all those mistakes uh <laughs> already going and you can learn from those but Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.